This looks like a goddamn- I assume I can beat this level and it won't cut me off from doing all these, right? That'd be weird of them to do. Just because what's- what- what benefit does this game have from like rolling credits and wiping your process- progress? I imagine you can just keep this whole map even after you've beaten everything in it and then it's just like, you did it, I guess. Continue- can enjoy looking at it more. Maybe you want to edit your solutions or something. Alright, well let's focus on this nightmare for now. But the, the- the game definitely shows its hand right at the end just to make sure you notice something is up. Although if you never- if you never solved a single one up until now, it just looks like some bunch of weird blocks and it might not stand out as being a thing that meant anything. That's a lot of crossroads and portals, by the way. Boy, did they know that was the hard part. I did it. Okay, so we have... Oh, just a nightmare. We have eight crossroads, two portals, two of each color. The houses are- we have two greenhouses. So, one question mark is purple and one question mark is orange. And we don't know which one goes where. But we do know that when we drive by them, whatever we have, we'll try to jump in. So it better be that thing. Added to the fact that it's hard to even reach these things. You can drive by each of these sets of three twice. Once you can go like this, the other time you can go like this, and so on. So you better have the right configuration set up at those points. As we crisscross across this entire level, but the crisscrossing should be made more possible by the sheer number of crossroads around, I suppose. I'm still not psyched, exactly. Oh, man. It's complicated enough that I'm having trouble even parsing where to start. One potential thing is that I often consider green to be the last thing you would do, due to its property of how it interacts with cars. And that, that couples with the idea that the only way to grab- to go to the greenhouses is to curve like that. That makes me think that the first thing we have to do, somehow, is drop off an orange and purple there, basically. Because that's the only way to access the trio of houses without doing the little curve from the top. And the only way- and so this seems to be the way to go. I don't know why I went that high. Perhaps because I'm expecting to do it like this. I guess that might be why I did that. So go up to the top, grab orange and purple, drop off orange and purple. And then it becomes a matter of get those guys there and those guys there, while preserving the pickup order of where green is in the two cars. It seems kind of doable, which is why I'm terrified. <laughs> um... Really feels like they gave me a lot of options here, which I don't trust myself to have. Let's do green first. Get away from that portal. <laughs> no. I think we want to do orange first. That orange can be dropped off here, then green. Then we use the portal. Maybe we should use this point back here. Or maybe even not use the crossroads at all at that point, judging by how the level's shaped. Just stay away from them. I did... Let's see, I came up through here, I used orange first, so green's the second car, so I have to get the purple first. So purple first. Purple, green. And then no escape. Huh. 
Ah, oh, we're so close to something. I'm going to try sliding everything over as much as I can to see if it can just create more space for myself. But the fact that these crossroads are in specific spots probably cuts down on the possibility of that. Somewhat. That's a crossroad that I need to keep, so I can't move that anymore to the side. And doing this just is taking up more space for the sake of it. But I can't forego all this, because if I just go straight for purple then green, there's no way to reach the exit at the end. Do I think this crazy loop-de-loop -loop has to happen? Kind of? <laughs> oh man, this one's gonna be convoluted. Uh, I don't see this getting fixed. Let's reboot. So my first assumption was to try to grab the middle people first, then get to the house, then try to solve the sides individually. Which, you know, straightforward things like that that seem logical have work approximately 0% of the time. It works like once per system, basically, the really obvious thing that I try. Usually they, usually they specifically thought of the obvious thing and they specifically designed that to not be the solution to the puzzle. Otherwise it'd be a weirdly straightforward game, like uh, the first two hours of Cube 2, for example. Where it was just like, is this even a puzzle game? Am I in tutorial land still? Let's see, next assumption is that they give me a portal right at the beginning. So should I just go directly into that? Because what stands out to me about my previous solution is that going up like or that, just to do a crappy effect similar to what I was doing, is like, it's super space inefficient to go to both these guys, then both these guys at the beginning of the level, and that might have been why I ran out of, I just purely ran out of squares to use. Whereas here, that's actually really clean. They dump you off straight into a portal, which they give you access to right by the starting point, and then the exit point is even recessed into the side of the wall to give you clean exit points to the top and bottom without even eating into the map's size yet. So I was trying to grab the middle people first, from here, you could potentially grab the outside people first. The problem with that approach is that we are now grabbing a green at the beginning. That means that when I deliver these two, they have to be delivered individually instead of as a group because I already am greening and I can't ungreen. And that's not good news. But I can go down here and drop off the green and then the orange. That'll work, I suppose. And then what? Should I go back up for the other orange? Ah. Going in this direction doesn't work because if I, when I come get the purple eventually, I can't reach the purple house and leave. I can't go that way because I grabbed orange first. No, that does work. Orange would go into the question mark. Green goes in there. That works cleanly enough. I'm not decided on whether I want to go back in the portal or not. If I go back in the portal, it takes me right to the exit, which I then have to like warp strangely around if I want to be able to gain access to the... Uh, so I need to leave the exit available. We could purple orange, and then purple orange. But then that just limits me so much. What if I tried going through this side? It's an approximation of my earlier plan, kind of. I feel like I shouldn't cut off so much map though. If I go like this, no, this cuts, that'll just ultimately cut off way more of the map, ultimately. Uh, so 
I, l I leave off here. Can I get those two and then drop them off here and then leave? Maybe if I move that slightly, we have portal access. Portal access doesn't matter though, because I cut it off here. And doing this doesn't actually help. It just makes the map look a little nicer. That doesn't help at all. Uh, purple and green. Maybe I should start drawing the solution first. Which is to try to draw my way down here to green and purple. Purple and green. Oh no, it would be green and purple. Can I redraw this in some way that connects these two points and then solves the level? We have one crossroad here. Can I fix that? Uh. Is there any is there any help for me to do that? Uh Am I close? I'm kind of like retracing the track over and over again just to try to find a spot where I've made a weirdly inefficient choice anywhere. I've got to untangle this mess. Fuck it. I'm still happy with that though. So, orange, green. Orange, green. What about the end? I'm thinking symmetry, kind of. Like, what if the ending also goes straight into the portal? That's just so... clean. It's interesting because it functionally makes it so that we're starting the puzzle over here and end- and like, this is the distance side. Like, it changes the entire level. When you have two- when, you, when the entrance and exit are both on one side, you, you sort of divide the field into the near half and the far away half. Which affects how you handle the entire puzzle, because it affects where you come from, where you go, how many times you can shoelace back and forth, and shit like that. Like, it's important. It, where the entrance and exit walls are, is it changes everything. So, if I go through the portal with both of them, then this becomes the near side of the level, and that becomes the far side of the level. Because this is functionally just a dead-end wall now, and our, our exit and entrance are both basically over here. Which changes things interestingly. Huh. If that's my exit, where do we go with that ultimately, I wonder? I still need to pick up units and deliver them. And now without using portals, apparently. The main thing I can go with is that the exit most likely goes... Let's see, the exit probably has to go through this middle one, because this one has to go through the, the bottom one. Probably cross here. At that point, it's seeming like we're likely to be doing these ones at the end. Which might make it safe to use this cross. For the purpose of grabbing both of these, perhaps. Still solving it from the exit here. So grab those two, take them over here, drop them both off, go to the exit. So if any of that's the way to go, then now it becomes a case of how do I get this guy to do the other stuff? This seems wasteful. Let's just go all the way to here and stay away from all this open space and maybe I can take advantage of that. I definitely need these two crossroads because I'm going down through the ro this road once, then back up.
This is not looking good already. First of all, we went through here, went up, came down here. When we went up here, we grabbed orange first, then green. So orange, green. When we come through here, we have to grab purple, then green. Purple, green. There's two crossroads here. Feels like I need the third crossroad. Maybe all of that stuff around here. We so do purple, green. Purple, green. And then how do you resolve any of this? Let's see. Start over here. Go up. Orange, green. Orange, green. Go through here. Purple, green. Purple, green. Then I need to get up to there to grab both of these and then bring them back down to drop them off here. So here's where we get in trouble. So this and this have to connect to that and that. It actually doesn't matter what order. We can do this loop in either direction. No, we can't. No, we can't, because we've already picked up greens. We have to do these individually. This entire thing is a moot point. I have to do them... I have to go up and down twice? Somehow? That's not looking good. That's not looking good at all. No, that undoes everything that I was kind of assuming going to allow. Well, that means the exit doesn't look anything like that. That's for sure. What if I grab those two and go back in the portal? And drop them off? What about that idea, huh? And I go back in and grab these two. And then somehow get down there again. Uh... then drop those two off and then somehow crisscross twice I mean that cuts off the exit just like that Maybe you go across the top. Going, doing that cuts off that purple though from being grabbed. You can drop off that purple there. And we can technically go back up for, I don't know, that orange or something? God. No, let's undo this entire process. Maybe coming through here and dropping them off works, but I don't think crossing back up there works. Maybe the exit will be these two, which means they have to go get those two over here at that point, if that's the way we're going. Oh, jeez, that's not where my mouse was trying to go. It has to be purple, then green. So that'd be purple, then green. Purple, then green. The next house that's easily available is this one, I'd say. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I should solve forward from here on out. So at this point, my goal from the starting point, which just dropped off these two. Orange, green. Orange, yeah, it doesn't matter because green's in its spot. 
Um... From here, you'd want to grab orange and take them here, and then somehow get to purple. Um... Just how? <laughs> Maybe cross through here, then through here to grab orange. Then way the heck down here and up through here to grab, to drop him off. Then up here could pick up purple, but then how do I get back? I think this is like a Rubik's cubes of cube of crossroads. What occurs to me is that there are four crossings here that are not used. So it might be possible to reconfigure the order in which I'm using these crossings to get this to there and then back up to there. I could see that happening in only two crossings down and two crossings up and maybe in a more of a diagonal fashion or something, but God damn, once you're making the puzzle, it's so much harder to tell which crossings you have and haven't used in the right order. Let's undo everything in the middle, because it's gross. That's where everything goes wrong at some point. I'm happy with that being the ending, potentially. With the crossroad being the obvious thing to go ne to next to that point. If we have a delivery set up, then trying these guys makes sense. Uh... I... wait. Did I just put the track backwards? Let's see. Pick up these guys, go through here. Oh, it's dropped, like, dropping those two off here, then picking these two up. Right. Right, now we're fine. I was worried about delivering these two into here backwards because the order wasn't working, but no, we're, we're dropping those guys off there, then picking these guys up. It makes sense to grab them first so we can work with something there. The issue is then you have to drop them off, like, down there or something? Unless not... Huh... I mean, it could just be an opportunity to drop off the purple and grab an orange. Uh, I need to leave the possibility open to grab that purple later. I'm going to come back for that purple, it's probably going to be going up through here the way I got the orange a second ago, so... Let's plan this a little bit differently. Giving me us the, op the full shot through there. Maybe both cases... There we go. That gives us an opening so we can go straight down the middle with the orange to deliver the orange, then back up to pick up the purple. In which case, I can probably re attach to the exit we had to drop off what is now my last purple and green. I think. Oh, that looks pleasingly cleaner than it did before. I was wrong about one thing. Well, I was wrong about a lot of things over the course of that, but one of the last things I was wrong about was that I thought that... Let's make that cleaner. Yay! I thought that the four leftover crossroads were ones we needed to use, but they're still there. Just rearranged. It is nice light looking when you make it as vertical as possible. A hint of, uh, cable management, basically. Did this work? Did I just beat the game, quote-unquote, in this non-finale, because we clearly have more stuff to do? But I'm definitely taking a break if the, if this if I just won this. Uh... Is that it?
Yes. Yeah, there we go. Nova 7 complete. The entire map is filled in. Except for the mystery thing. The mystery thing. Is there a way to tell from this map where they are? Uh, I see something. But did they all look like that? Ah. Uh. Okay, they, they turned white. So white stars used to represent systems where there was two exits and you didn't and you need to solve the other exit. Now the white stars when you beat the level can't serve that purpose anymore cuz you've beat every level so they don't that doesn't matter anymore. So now there's white stars in all these spots where a totem is or an obelisk or whatever. There we go. That gives me some idea where to go next. Okay. We'll get to that. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. See you next time. Uh, this... I haven't made my mind up yet. This might be my temporary hiatus. I might take a break from this game. I've got three dangling threads. One, uh, the third book of Pillars of the Earth came out. Two, in a few days, uh, freaking The Room Old Sins comes out on Android. And also, I need to do the final episode still of... Push by, by Push Paradise. This is a clean enough ending point that I might take a break and come back after a couple of other games. We'll see. Uh, cause the... <laughs> I anticipate the post game might be even harder. Uh, so something easy like an adventure game would be a nice backlog builder so I have more time to build, deal with those things. We'll see. Just don't be alarmed if there's not a... if, if there's a Cosmic Express tomorrow. Uh, I might... I might divert and then come back. Or not, and this is a wasted outro if not, oh well. See you guys later.